Hello, everybody, to this video, which will be a little bit more personal than previous ones. I'd like to think about awakening and its supporting conditions. It was in the beginning of 2009 when I had what we might call an awakening experience, which was the realization of non-separation. And from that point on, the perception of the world changed. However, I can say that this feeling of awakening was not abiding. So there were blissful seconds, minutes and sometimes hours of immersion in consciousness. However, when there were still times in which I just intellectually understood and then caught myself desiring and trying to attain that state again. Intellectually knowing with your mind, but not feeling it with your heart and body is very contradictory in itself, maybe even ironic. Because uh, despite knowing that the ego doesn't exist and the old ego was awakened from, apparently a new ego arose and is now a new barrier in between all the desires and whom we really are. This situation can be called trying to close the gap or trying to escape the maze of feeling separation, although we know that neither the gap or the maze exist. At this point there is no direct advice I can share with you all except that we can improve our own self-reflection or self-awareness. And please know that I do not want to create any opinion or judgment about what is good or bad. There is no difference, for example, between an awakened being or a non-awakened being. In fact, the thought of awakening being great is a big step away from it. Let's look at awakening and its supporting conditions with conditions resembling environment, culture and circumstances. Again, this is personal and has no right to be true. I'll just be talking about potential conditions that can support awakening or even support an abiding enlightenment. Important to say is that we'll reflect on these conditions from the perspective of separation, so from the perspective of not knowing what awakening is. So you might already know that in reality no such thing as separation exists, but nevertheless the feeling of it does. And from this point of view we can say, and this is a quote here, certain quite definite inner and outer conditions are requisite for awakening. A certain culture, the education of those elements friendly to cosmic consciousness and the elimination of those elements hostile to it. About one year before my experience of awakening, I underwent quite a few changes in life and I'm, everything changed. Um, so let me reflect on these conditions in the time shortly before this experience and then making anal analogies to the elements that were friendly or hostile to it. And I will split those elements into absence of hostile elements and presence of friendly elements. And I had the chance to live in an extremely quiet area, uh, had no health issues, no money problems. There were not a lot of unconscious influences from, from uh, people close to me, like what we could refer to contagiousness of ma minds, bad moods and stuff. No interest in material belongings, no drug consumptions of any kind or not a whole lot of addictions that kind and there were no expectations which were unconsciously communicated to me or consciously communicated or even expectations you just give to yourself. 
and as far as the presence of friendly elements is concerned was very close to nature and quiet and you could experience aloneness which shouldn't be mistaken with loneliness and uh, there was love in personified form to family and friends um, another culture maybe more pleasant natured um, and unrestricted freedom in all facets of life so the personal life work which led to a freedom to pursue your desires pretty quickly and then this combination of elements resulted in a realization of this vicious circle so at the never-ending dissatisfaction of your own desires. Um, from this, there were thoughts about the unreality of things, meditation, frequent experiences of synchronicity, entry of the mysterious and wonder into life. And from this discovering a new logic of, you might say, higher dimensions, from this awakening and then seeking knowledge about this experience in books um, basically building in a new ego started sharing thoughts with others and trying to close the gap well what makes those elements hostile or friendly every human being has the ability to judge about something and most of us take this judgment for reality which it is not so this voice of judgment creates thoughts which we think are true and all it requires is things you don't like so things we are in rejection to for example if you want to own a great car you don't like that you don't already have it and that creates thoughts the more judgmental a person is the more thoughts are created and that is very polluting feel free to reflect on each of those hostile elements shown here of how much they affect your life now the complicated part is this you will never be able to eliminate the problem itself the element hostile to awakening or to consciousness only the way how you perceive it noise for example or it's the same with expectations you will always have expectations but the question is how you how much you believe in them or let them affect yourself then in the moment of no more thoughts what remains is stillness in this state there's nothing but witnessing what is including thoughts thoughts will still be there but they will not be taken for true anymore. But then if there's just a tiny amount of identification with judgment again, for example, due to the desire to awaken or abide in awakening, the stillness will be covered up again by thoughts. And eventually this identification has to cease to go back to the state of stillness. And this state the world is turned upside down to the absolute positive full of joy wonder love abundance creativity and clarity of course awakening can happen due to completely different conditions than the ones i had the chance to have in my life very often people probably awaken due to great suffering and an overwhelming amount of hostile elements in their life. Some people might awaken because they were very close to death. For all those people sharing and teaching in their many ways though, it is impossible to recreate such negative hostile situations. On the other side it's possible to strive for this positive and friendly culture. So please help with that then the world will become more conscious and more still every day.